What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, James. To the Oh, I'm just doing part two of why men should not learn a game from a woman. Back off of video one to two. I'm watching the football game. Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat Michael Vick and them 27 to zero in Tampa, Florida. So I'm happy. I want me some money. Come on, son. Come get you some of this. Uh, I don't want that. After your son didn't smash, I don't want to do that. At least get some head. Dang. All right, whatever. So that happened. So one day, as I got older, it became a problem. It was like, wait, what father teaches their son how to be a trick out here in these streets to women? My own mother is saying, he is preparing you for the real world. So you basically encouraging this jump? So you want your son to pay women just to date them, just to do whatever it is with the woman, including having sex. Then I one day said, if a woman really likes a man and that man likes that woman, sex can go down. Ain't no money involved. This is what my mother said. Kid you not. You finally figured it out. You're learning. Basically, she was never going to tell me. That's why I'm saying from my own experience, maybe you can relate, fellas. A woman's not going to teach you the game. Okay, I have an auntie. Auntie Georgia. All right. She put her sisters up on game, my mother included. Pay to play. Pussy ain't free. He got money this, money this, money that. I like to call it the prostitution mentality. So, she has a son. The only child she has, or had, never put him up on game. Never. The only people that she put up on game was her sisters. Not her brothers, not her son. Cause it's a woman code. We don't put men up on game. So, rest in peace to Auntie Georgia. Last time I saw her alive was on Thanksgiving Day of 2000. She came drunk to the house, flipping out, tripping, whatever. So when she left, I started mocking her, impersonating her, making the whole house laugh entertainment, whatever, while I'm watching WWF Smackdown, before we call it WWE, but yeah, month later, she ran to the Grim Sleeper, Grim Sleeper is a guy who targets African American women prostitutes, and that was the day she got killed, by the Grim Sleeper, for those who know about the Grim Sleeper, you know what I'm talking about, he got, he eventually got caught, because his son got arrested, Back in 2009, they swabbed his mouth, DNA. They ran through the databases and they found all of his bodies. Like, wait, he's too young. It couldn't be him. Let's check out his father. DNA matched. They went and got him. 11 counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted. One woman came to court and testified. She the survivor of his attack. So it's fair to say Monty was prostituted. Then I have a female cousin. She tells me this. You get in a relationship with a woman. You start dating her. Things start getting serious. Y'all having sex, whatever. Pay half her bills. It's like, huh? Pay half her bills. So I'm going to live where I live. Pay my bills. Plus, pay half of her bills where she stay. Yeah. I put that in, in my homeboy ear. He was like, don't do that trick and sucker stuff. Who told you that? A woman's game is based on you not knowing the game. You ain't supposed to do that, fellas. So, I don't do that. Because how was your bills paid before me? Exactly. Keep it the same way. I used to be on this thing called a party line. DLA Raven. If you got minutes to blow, blow with us. The party line used to be popping. I learned the game so much off the party line from men. Man, I learned a lot. I learned the game mostly from a man. I learned bits and pieces from a woman, but mainly from a man. So I met this one female. We having a conversation about dating, men tricking, paying to play, whatever, whatever. So I'm, I'm talking as if my father told me this stuff, and I'm talking to her about it. Ooh, wait, the conversation kind of went south. The girl felt violated and disrespected. It's like, wait, you mean to tell me that you will pay a woman to do this, 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 and that? 
Don't do that. She said, I know you're young. Sit down. Let me tell you something. I'm a woman, okay? Let me put you up on some game. Some game. We make men pay to play. If he's ugly, he's fat, pretty much unattractive, and a small penis. You any of those, we make those men pay to play. And you having a small penis, not only are you going to have to pay to play, you also going to have to eat the cookie too. You're a good looking guy, tall, handsome, chocolate. You got a nice body, you got it going on. Guys like you don't pay to play. Those other men that chase after us that we don't want, whatever, whatever, we make them pay to play, not guys like you. Especially if a woman finds you attractive and she likes you, she's interested in you, she ain't gonna go that route with you. And you better not go that route either. Who taught you this pay to play trick and junk anyway? She said, let me guess. It was your father, huh? Say, so, yeah. And your mother's encouraging too, huh? Yeah. They're both for tricks too. And they're teaching their son how to be one. Take it from me. I understand I ain't your mother and all that, but take it from me. No, don't do that. Now I learned the Bible lesson from that. Don't be no trick. And then she told me this. Women don't respect men that are tricks. Y'all come at us foul. And how much is it for me to hit that? How much for you to give me some head, this, that? You, you treating us like prostitutes. Every woman's not a prostitute. And here you are treating women like a prostitute. That's disrespectful. That's why we don't take men like them serious. We use them for their money and that's it. Another woman I met on the party line. Last one. She liked me. She was cool. Whatever, whatever. We went out. had a good time. Whatever. We started talking about dating stuff. I asked her, how you think about dating this, that? She said this. James, you want to be real honest with you? Be honest with me, 100%. Let's get it. Be honest. Women, we don't put men up on game. So why not? Because y'all don't know the game. That gives us the advantage. We want y'all dumb. So we can maneuver and do whatever it is that we want to do. Be sneaky, be this, be that, whatever, whatever, if we want to run game. And a lot of women out here is, is going to try to run game. But if there's certain things you don't know, we're not going to tell it to you. We're not going to tell you that men are superior to women, that men have the authority and men this and men that. We're not going to tell you that. That's something you're going to have to learn on your own and figure it out. We want the upper hand, the leverage. Like you men are slow and we want y'all slow. So we could take advantage and do whatever that we want to do. I was like, you know what? Thank you for your honesty. Appreciate it. The moral of the story is this. is a conflict of interest for a man to try to learn a game from a woman. You'll learn bits and pieces here, but you're not going to learn a full game. So it's best that you learn from a man who's experienced that dealt with women, that understands women. Man to man knowledge. Not try to learn from a woman. That's what I have. Why men should not learn a game from a woman. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this video and tell me what you think. The other one's part one. This is part two. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. I'll be more happy to read your comments.